Today we're on our way to help our good friend Bob put together a herb garden planter for his porch that his wife wants for this spring growing season. He doesn't live there. I just thought you might like to see that on our way to Buddy Bob's house. Today we're going to assemble a four-tier vertical garden that my buddy Bob bought at Tractor Supply. This is for my uh, wife Susie. She wanted it badly. Good. It's perfect for the home gardener. As you can see in the picture, the Chinese make herb gardens. Here's what's in the box. A letter from Discover Home Products with a warning notice. Hang on to your receipt, Bob, in case they need to process your claim. Okay. What we have here is a bunch of effing wood. A whole box of effing wood. On the one end that of the is. box, you'll find a pack of hardware stuffed down in between the wood and the cardboard. A whole lot of screws. Inside that red plastic bag was the instruction manual. Do not return the product to the store. And uh, screws labeled for further down the road in the assembly steps. It says in the manual, the tools and materials needed is a Phillips head screwdriver. We don't think that way. And this is what we're actually going to use. The tools I've prepared here. You can see them. Uh, flashlight, drill, a couple socket sets, and your basic tools, hammers, and pliers, screwdrivers. What else is there, Bob? Oh, necessary. Coors Light and Yingling Logger. All the wood included is a little bit under a half an inch thick, <clears throat> pretty light fur. First step is putting two A's with two B's and a C. We'll be right back. Well, we've attached our first piece. What we did learn is that they're not cut to the exact proper length. You have a little bit of overhang, but we want to keep it flush on the bottom because uh, it's going to set on something, I think. We kept, we kept the bottom flush with this side here. Well, we put the first two parts on. Now we have to take them back off. Because this part in the middle, C, is small. And we, we put our bottom out on this end. When the two holes are lined up, the bottom's supposed to be on that side of the board. Over there. So... We're going to draw one extra hole or tear them off and put them back. The instructions don't mention it, but B has two different sides. It has this side with the silver things on, the side without. We've decided that the silver things go towards the interior of the box, so when you bolt it to the frame, it's trying to draw those silver things, washers, if you will, through the wood, and you're not pulling the opposite direction. So we're going to put our B with the uh, tag, the B tag, and these silver things facing to the inside of the planter. Well, we have the first step completed on one section. I think there's three more just like it. And uh, we made several mistakes. One, we didn't orient the C piece in the center first with the two supplied holes. The way we had it assembled, we'd have been down here with it. The other one is we learned that you want these silver dots to the inside and the other one is my Bob's buddy Bob's opinion so far it's uh, going fairly well yeah. so I think we'll be okay we're gonna we're gonna speak to the quality of the product at this point it's made out of scrap lumber you can see where there's joints there's joints all over the pieces and this is this whole section here is wood putty. And we find evidence of wood putty on other pieces. And it's all put together out of probably furniture trimmings. 
My God, before you start drilling, make sure you have these two holes for the C-piece lined up. We're flipping this one as we speak. Screw it up again. There is a boatload of screws in this. 18 just this far, and then we're going to put six more on the next piece. So that's 24 screws per section A. Now we're going to install the side rails. We've run into a very serious problem where our this is, assembly is now called Part Z. Will not rest on Part E's thing because where you put part B when you assemble these these two screw holes have to line up with the screw holes in part E and since we have a little air gap down here because you know you're doing it on the fly you're trying to balance it our holes are not close enough to the bottom to line up with E and it's uh, very disturbing I think you'd be better off if you put part B on first and assembled everything to it. What we've learned so far, if you don't have section B down tight against this bottom board, these holes will not line up with the post E. What we had to do was get a drill with a quarter inch bit, maybe a little bit bigger than that, and round out the holes on E so that we could line our bolts up. So we did that down at the other end. Screwed up the threads on two bolts already. Might have to finish up with deck screws. But uh, you, you can't have this air gap. No way. You cannot have that air gap because that affects the alignment with these holes in post E. Well, here's where we are now. We have the three Z sections attached to the two E sections. We had to round out. Oh, I think six of the holes with a drill bit to make them line up at the oblong the E hole uh, to get the bolt up higher because we didn't have B flush. See how it's hanging up up here? You got this little lip here. Well, that cost us on the bottom because it just wouldn't uh, line up correctly with the holes. It doesn't show you on the instructions, but this carved out area here goes on the inside of the box that you're building so it will end up with a box with those on the inside that's what you bolt uh, the post E to. I'm looking for a Chinese guy to strangle about now this hole is closer to here and this hole is closer to here so you have to make sure this is right side up and over here same thing and here's the funny part Ah, I'm so pissed off I can't remember what the funny part is. The backup help has arrived. My wife Sharon. <laughs> Susie's in the house making us dinner as a reward for assembling her planter. And here's my buddy Bob putting in the last screw. Yeah! Got her. It was great. Guy power. It took a little while, but two cores lights and two yinglings, and we made it. One of the lessons we learned is that while you're assembling, every piece that has a letter on it faces to the inside of the structure. You see all the letters, all the stickers, they all go towards the inside. That way you know you don't have it on backwards. We put the F's on last, mainly because we missed them in the instructions, but it didn't really matter. It was actually easier to put them on last because it was easier, trust me. It was very wobbly on the uneven surface, of course. And now we're going to call out the uh, CEO of the job, Susie, for her approval. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's got leveling speed on the bottom. Right, I'm sure it's in the right location. Yeah. What do you think, Suze? Oh, that's nice. Yay! Can't wait to pull and uh, my herbs and my lettuce. 
Bob says I screw better than he does. What's your opinion? So far, I'd say you did a mediocre job compared to him. Thanks. <laughs> well, there you have it. You know, the unconscious mechanic <laughs> with a planter deck for his buddy but and his wife. <laughs> Can I say something? But we just wanted to make sure we got the right screws in the right hole because we didn't want to put the A holes in the E holes in the E holes in the A holes. Thank you. I see three E holes and one A hole. <laughs> The only tools we used in this job were an electric drill with a Phillips head bit. We had to use a uh, quarter inch bit to oblong a couple of holes when we misaligned the B tabs and two beers each. The instructions say use a Phillips head screwdriver. Oh, we did use a Phillips head screwdriver on those big bolts because uh, I didn't have a uh, big enough bit. So we can add a Phillips head, a large Phillips head screwdriver to the tool list. But I'll tell you what, if you don't have a power drill, I would not even start this job. There has to be a hundred screws. You'll exhaust yourself. You'll drive yourself crazy. If you don't have one of these, go to Harbor Freight and get a $12 one. You'll be glad you did. <laughs>